on picking the draft, barring a Roy Henson-like trade, this year's pick seems to be mistake-proof, especially if Philly goes for a point guard. A pair of multi-talented floor generals are available, Allen Iverson and Stefan Marbury. The question, who will be the chosen one? The significance of the term number one is widely recognized in sports, but on the basketball court, the words mean so much more. They define a position, and that position connotes an attitude ball starts with the point, ends with the five. <laughs> That's how we play the game. This year's draft contains two point guards likely to go in the top five. Allen Iverson from Georgetown, six feet, 165 pounds. He averaged 25 points on a team known for its defense. And Stephon Marbury, 6'2", 180, averaged nearly 19 points a game. He was the first freshman to lead Georgia Tech in scoring since all-star point guard Mark Price did it in 1983. Both players are certain to make an impact at the next level. The question, though, remains, who's the one? I can't say who is better. They're both very close. They're both real good. <laughs> They're both um, going to be very good pro players. You like watching them play. Isaiah isn't the only GM who has his eyes on these two playmakers. There are a couple of players that we feel real good about. And uh, you know, Wednesday evening, we're going to be able to pick our guy. So uh, when we arrive at that decision, uh, we're going to make sure we get him. Last time two point guards were drafted in the top five, 1991, when Dex Kenny Anderson went second to the Nets, and Michigan State Steve Smith went fifth to the Miami Heat. Iverson is expected to be taken first by the Sixers, leaving Marbury to either the Grizzlies, Bucks, or T-Wolves, all of whom need point guards. It would mark the first time a point guard was chosen first since Magic Johnson in 1979. Marbury and Iverson went head-to-head -head in the preseason NIT last year. Iverson won the much-hyped battle, scoring 23 points and dishing out six assists, while Marbury netted 13 points and handed out eight assists. Georgetown won the game 94-72. Comparing Iverson and Marbury is nothing new. In fact, before Marbury had even played a game for Georgia Tech, the NBA's director of scouting, Marty Blake, was comparing the two of them while talking about Iverson. He's just one of these kids that uh, come along once in a lifetime, like maybe Stephen Marbury, who's committed to Georgia Tech. These two potential superstars have been mentioned in the same breath since they were, well, teenagers. And from the looks of things, that's not going to change much in the future. Iverson's point trumps most of Marbury's counterpoints. He was first-team All-America, was Iverson. Marbury made the third team, but was just the fifth freshman in ACC history to be a member of the All-ACC first team.